Great man the third you just sent to Mark. Everybody shooting at. Can we be 89 tonight? We're about to find out with Jordan Spears. He's a former Walla Walla champion. He's the number one bull rider in the Columbia River Circuit. He's the number one all-around cowboy in the Columbia River Circuit. He's 14th in the world standings. Folks, three months ago at the beginning of June, I remember watching this man at the Extreme Bull Riding in Union, Oregon and telling the fans there that he was number 50. Coming off of injuries. Well, that means that in three months he has climbed all the way into the top 15. Now, you want to talk about bull power? Al Parsons, he's got the bull power. Bull cookie, the rematch, actually, for this guy. 2019 is a two time Walla Walla champion. Still playing score it. Stay down, Ryder. <laughs> I guess he doesn't have a choice after that ball hit his barrel like that, huh? Whoa! Oh, hold on. Look out. Look out. Stay in there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, why does that ball hate Ryder Kisner? Ryder, are you okay? Gotcha. <laughs> That's the quickest way to clear, turn a clown's course can into a porta potty, right there. All right, 78 for Jordan Spears. I like the after action. We got you on the video with that whole thing there, right? I'm okay, Mom. He's warming his rope up, Steve. We're going to go all the way across the world right now. How about an Australian cowboy and a one-time Wrangler National Finals qualifier, Ty Hamilton. Well, the man in the central Washington asphalt bucking shoot, I tell you kind of the same story I just told you about Jordan Spears. Yeah. Folks, after the American Rodeo in March, Ty Hamilton had to have surgery. He was off until the beginning of July. It took him about three weeks to hit his stride, but he is back in the top 15 in the world standings. Last year, over $200,000. Tonight, it's the Central Washington Asphalt Bucking Shoe. There it is, And everybody rides on a Sunday night. By the way, did you notice how I went out of the way to not say the bull's name? <laughs> I don't like that bull's name. Whoever owns that bull, you got to change that bull's name. What? What? The bull's name is Dirty Rider. No, it's Dirty Steve. All of them. Well, either way, it's 84 and a half. 84.5. Nice job, Kai Hamilton. Nice job, Kai Hamilton. You know, we haven't done it all tonight. What's that? Hey, Jason, give them a little something they can sing to while we're roping this ball. Oh, this will work. I didn't know we was going to go sexy right off the bat. We're breaking it. Anybody know the words to Don't Stop Believing? If you do, I want to hear it. Just a small town. Yeah! It took the midnight train to Just the city boy Or is it Levin? Born and raised Yeah! Yep! He took the midnight train to Oh, that was cool! Oh, yeah! Oh! like a church choir. That's beautiful. And if you listen down onto the VIP, we actually had some really good singers yeah. down there. Yeah. I know. Try Absolutely. out for the voice. Yeah. Powered by Coors Beer. Got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of Coors. All right. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, man.
The four-time Ranger National Finals Rodeo Cowboy. He just cruised over 33 years of age. He's got a lot left in the tank. This year, he has been to a pile of events, but he has taken the victory lap on about six of them. He was nine, he actually was 89 points. Right down in Waco, Texas, 88 in Mitchell, South Dakota. At the Cheyenne Frontier Days, he loaded up on another 89 points. And tonight, he has got a great bull to do it all. How about we go back down to hell no, Roscoe. Tampa, 90. Waywater, Texas, 89. Uvalde, Texas, 91. This guy's full of money. Oh, I think we've been riding them so far. Why don't we just continue? Why don't we give them all the chili and the chili bowl, too? This is no day off fucking shit. This one, this one is, well, we call them extreme. Jeff Askey. Folks, this man's got roots all over the world. He's born in Pennsylvania. Won an intercollegiate title in Tennessee at the University of Tennessee Martin. Now he lives in Texas. Ouch. I told you. Yo, 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 yo. Run, Forrest, run. That is one rank, rank fucking boot. It is no disgrace to come off of the back of that one there. Ladies and gentlemen, I need a little bit of love for the grandstands. No disgrace at all. That is a rank hombre. in Alaska. He won it. Tonight, I need you to give Idaho a little more hospitality. Would you do that? How many of you in the audience tonight have been to every single rodeo performance this weekend? Let me hear from you. Thank you, folks. True fans, true fans. Larry Mosley, Palestine, Texas, a top nine cowboy. This guy's got a game as well. I really enjoy watching his style. With the bucket ball tonight, Grand Slam. They average 86 points, sometimes above, sometimes right just under. But tonight, I believe. I believe the 25-year-old athlete from Texas already got close to $75,000 in the bank is about to show Express and one of professionals how proud he is to be here. Five rides over 90 points in 2021. Are you 
Texas won almost 7,000 in Ellensburg last night. Tenth in the world, 83 grand for the year. Folks, I, I, I consider myself the president of the Laramie Mosley Fan Club. Yeah. You ever get a chance to talk to this young man, spend some time with him? I've interviewed him three or four times. He greets you with a big giant smile. He spent the last month limping. He got stepped on by a bull up at the Old Max Stampede. Hadn't stopped him. Let's see what he can do tonight. He's a horse trainer and a bull rider. Larry Mosley. Let Blake keep it down. Nope. Steve, we got to get back on track. Yep. Got to get back on track. Well, watch it. This left leg's going to come up. Ladies and gentlemen, the bad news is he got bucked off. The good news is he's going to be in Las Vegas starting December 2nd at the Wrangler National Final. Oh, we're proud of him. Laramie, I hate to see you walking like that, cowboy. I know you've been doing it for a month. Folks, give him a big round. Would you do that? About a month from now, he's going to have an opportunity to take a little bit of time off, a little bit of a rest, but he doesn't want to take too much. Right now, we're going to go back down to another cowboy that's got an opportunity.